Frank? Oh! Hey, <laughs> Joe. I didn't see you there. Scared the crap out of me. I can't believe you're here. They told me you quit. I got to go upstairs and everything. Quit? Oh, right! Yeah, well, you know me. I'm a career opportunity guy. Something else came up. Management gave me your job. Well, sort of. The same responsibilities, at least. And... Well, my own, so... Is that right? Well, good on you, Joe. Best of luck. Now, if you'll excuse... They said you already left. Did you forget something? Well, no. Uh, well, yeah. I forgot... something. Listen, I'm a little tight on time here. Wait, what are you even doing down here? Well, like I said, I, I was given your job, so... Oh, right, right. Still, this part of the labs is actually off-limits, so you probably shouldn't be here. No, right. I know. I just happened to see you, so... Well, I need to get going, too. I, there's some important... Uh, there's a, a spill I need to mop up. Hey, can we grab a beer down at Izzy's when this is over? This week, I mean. I could really use the company. Beer? Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Great. Guess I'll leave you to it then. There you are. Why the hell haven't you done anything about that leak yet? The leak? Hello? Anyone home? The leak next door, numbnuts. Do you have any idea how much the research in those file cabinets is worth? No, of course not. How could you? Just fix that leak, or so help me God, I'll have HR fix your walking papers. <sighs> Wait. Look, I'm sorry. We're all under quite a bit of stress right now. I'm on my third pot of coffee and haven't had a thing to eat yet. I could get you something from the vending machine if... Vending machine? Vending machine? Gee, thanks, Professor. I never thought of that. If I could have something from the vending machine, don't you think I would have? I didn't spend eight years at Cornell earning two doctorates just to have some schmuck buy my lunch. I'm on a diet, moron. Sorry, I'm... I'm getting agitated again. Diet? I'm not sure I... It's an all-fruit diet. 
The missus ordered me on it after my last physical. The irony is that it's supposed to help me with my high blood pressure, but now I'm just as angry all the time from low blood sugar. Tell you what, you find me some fruit, then cover for me while I slip out for a quick break, and I won't report you for the leak. Anything will do. A uh, nectarine, perhaps, or an apple? Yeah, an apple. That's the ticket. I'll find you an apple. Make sure that you do. And fix that damn leak! Sorry. Temper again. This means that from now on, you will be in charge of not only yours, but Frank's assignments too. That's right. That means downstairs lab sanitation, drain assignments, the works, with all the clearance that entails. That's a lot of responsibility we're investing in you, Jasper. I, I thank you, sir. Uh, but what about Frank? What? Nice. And you brought me an apple. Good. There's no eating in the lab, so I'll just pop out for a few to get some fresh air. Anyone asks, I'm up on 14 redacting Tuesday's pathology reports. Got it? Just don't touch anything.
Should, should I be writing this down? I don't have anything to write with. Shut up and pay attention! You are standing on the brink of an extinction-level event sent in motion by greedy halfwits that will eventually end the lives of every man, woman, and child on the planet. Oh, crap. Poor Dr. Lambert. Keep your voice down! Yikes! Shh! You, you're alive? Well, <laughs> for a little longer at least. But how? I faked it. Faked what? You detailed this exact scenario to me 40 years ago, remember? <laughs> of course you do. To you, it was a mere day ago. The earlier version of you had to see me die and get dragged off, so as not to alter the course of action that brought you to my doorstep in the first place. And yet I had to survive long enough to assist you in carrying out your mission. So I staged my premature demise. So, you're, you're not dying? <laughs> oh... I am dying all right. Despite my better judgment, I attempted to circumvent getting shot by taking a different route to the labs than originally planned. I foolishly believed I might actually bend the rules of cause and effect. The gaping hole in my gut makes it pretty damned evident how that turned out. Dr. Lambert, I... No more questions. Did you destroy the research data like I asked? The computer? Yes, sir. Yes, I did. Thank God. Now there is just one last matter to attend to. I need you to stop the last time, pilot. The one who just left. Fortunately, we know exactly where, or should I say when, he is. The device. Give it to me. You see that console behind you? Check the numbers in the first line of the fourth column and read them back to me. Four two nine four nine six seven two nine five. Are you... Are you sure that's correct? I'm sure. Dear God... I have configured the device to return you to the same destination. Here, <coughs> take the device. Go end this. One last thing. <coughs> you can never, never... Dr. Lambert? Are you... Dr. Lambert? Sir? <laughs> 